Hi, my name is Mary. Thank you for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger. So our everyday activities are just a little easier to do. Today, we're going to be working with bowls and spoons. So it's good to get a plastic bowl and a plastic spoon. That would be very helpful. Plus, we're going to be working with something we can put as a weight inside of it. So it could be like a bag of rice or a bag of beans. And if you don't have any bags, you can just get like a Ziploc bag and pour some stuff into it. If you have a pet, you could put like dog food into it, but make sure that the bags are even. So we're going to be working with plastic bowls like this and spoons. And we're going to bake a cake today. The great thing about this cake is that will help you lose weight because there are no, no calories, calories in it. So, before we do our exercise program today, I'd like you to check with your doctor and he'll tell you exercises you should and shouldn't do. You want to make sure you have water handy nearby. You want to make sure you have loose, comfortable clothes so that you can move without restraint. You want to make sure that if you're dizzy or lightheaded that you stop right away because you want to work at your own pace. So if we're working a little too fast, you just slow right down. If we're working too slow and in a safe way, you can increase the speed, you go right ahead. And of course, it's always important to breathe, breathe, breathe and smile. And the key to getting well is to do your exercises consistently, even if it's a little bit each day. That's how we get stronger and healthy. Also, it really helps to hang around fun people. It's good for your brain. Speaking of fun people, let's meet Connie. Hi, I'm Connie. I am Mary's sidekick. <laughs> I love working with her because she always makes me smile. When I exercise with Mary, I can't get my goofy grin off my face because she's so much fun. Thank you, Connie. Now tell us about yourself. Me? Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, I have discovered a newfound talent for editing. I really? Did a That's a newsletter for a genealogy association associated with my grandmother's surname, Purcell. If you're a Purcell, contact me. We can always use new members. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Plus, she's a good cook and speaks Italian. Mm. She's very good at gardening. I like gardening, especially pulling weeds. So it's a good exercise. Excellent exercise. Bend and stretch. <laughs> and throw. <laughs> that is great. So we'll have to do a gardening segment. But right now we're going to get warmed up. You'll want to run around the house and see if you can get something like a bowl. It's good to get a nice plastic bowl. We're going to be working with two bowls. So if you have two bowls and one spoon, that's fabulous. Now ideally we want to sit at the edge of our chair. That is great. So we're going to go... Colors? I love the colors. You are like an all-American girl. Alrighty. So you want to get two bowls and you want to get them kind of the same size. And then you'll reach in your cupboard and see if you have a bag of beans or a bag of rice or maybe uncooked popcorn. And if you don't and you like to bake packaged brownies, you can open up the box and take the inside thing out because that's plastic wrap. Now, if holding on to the bowl or the spoons is going to be uncomfortable for your hands, if you have a thick pair of gloves, it will help holding on a lot easier so you won't hurt your fingers. Now, if sitting at the edge of your chair hurts your back, you can always take a pillow and put it behind your back because we want to sit nice and tall, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Right in front of your hip is your knee and right under your knee is your foot. Now, you can say to yourself, Gee whiz, I don't think I have any bowls, but you might actually have a salad bowl. So you could use that. So it could be wooden, it doesn't have to be plastic, but it definitely wants to be unbreakable. Okay? And again, you can use any kind of utensil, a spoon or a fork. And what I did was, when I couldn't find any beans, I went to my cereal. And I got my cereal bag out, but I was thinking this might be too heavy for me. So I had a bowl of cereal and made the package just a little lighter. So you want to scoot around and get something that will be a resistive weight. Now this cereal is a lot lighter than these beans. And Connie has a lot of rice in her bag. My personal favorite, which she forgot to bring, is chocolate chips. Chocolate Perfect chips? Size. They don't give you much resistance, and if you hold them in your hand, they melt in your hand and not in your mouth. 
That's true. But they're in the bag, so that's okay. That's true. Okay. And then when you're finished exercising, you can... <laughs> it's good energy. Now, before we begin, we better get those muscles warmed up. So we're going to start just by lifting the toes. When we lift the toes, we start to stretch out the muscle behind the leg, which is your calf. And as we lift the toes up, we tighten the muscle beside the shin. And we're working the joint of the ankles. And I can feel it already. How about you? Absolutely. Okay. Let's push the toes down and lift the heels up, tapping the heels. Now what we're doing is contracting the muscles on the back of the leg, the calf, and stretching out the muscles on the shin. So having nice flexible ankles is really, really important, especially if you walk on uneven ground. Okay, now we're going to go toes and heels. Toes and heels. There you go. Excellent. So we sit nice and tall in our chair, our belly's in, our head's high. Alternately, we're going to press the heel out and back in. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. Out and in. Good. So you notice our heel is down and our toe is up and we feel fantastic. As we pull the toe up again, we tighten the muscles on the front of the lower leg and we lengthen the muscles on the back of the lower leg, but we've added the joint of the knee. Great job. Now let's reach with the toe. Reach with the toe. Whoa, I feel a stretch on my shin. How about you, Connie? Absolutely. And the front Great. of my foot. Excellent. Good. And so now we're, yeah, that's right, the foot's going now. So now you have the foot. And the tightening of the calf. Good. Good. Now hold it right here and lift one knee up and then the other. So we're working the thigh. This big muscle that we need is so important for going up and down stairs, getting up even out of a chair. Stepping over the cat. Stepping over the cat, you're right. And this works the joint of the hip. Now what's happening is I'm using my large muscles, so I'm getting a little warm, so I am going to have to take my coat off. And that's what happens, unless I have a knot. <laughs> and that's good hand exercise. That's right. Fine motor coordination. <laughs> so when you get warm, you want to make sure you're dressing layers so you can take a layer off because you don't want to get overheated. Great. Now we're going to relax the legs and let the arms sweep down, down, and up, down. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Great. Now we're going to curl up and then we're going to push the arms back. Push. And now we're working the hips again, leaning forward, pushing back. Great job. Always do what you can. And remember the importance of smiling and hanging around happy people and eating well so you have the energy to exercise. Great job. Now we're going to hold it right here and push up, up, up. There you go. We're working the muscles on the upper back and a little bit. Beautiful. I feel that. Excellent. Excellent. Four and three and two. Relax the hands down. Shrug the shoulders up and down. So we're working the muscles on the neck a little bit. We're working on the shoulders. Now we're going to bring our shoulders up, back and down. Up, back and down. Ah, doesn't that feel great? It does. And this helps us with posture, which is terrific. Mm -hmm. Speaking of posture, and we were working our legs, it's really important to have nice strong legs and strong feet. Speaking of feet, did I tell you that there was an inventor who invented shoes so that birds wouldn't fall off their perches? Wait, wait, don't tell me. Pericle? Yes, it's Pericles! Alrighty, <laughs> extra credit for you. Alright. Okay, now shake it out, shake it out. How are you feeling? Okay. Beautiful. Now we're going to put our hands nice and flat because we want to exercise our fingers because we're going to be wrapping them around the spoon and the bowl. So remember when we put that heel out, we're going to do it again. And if you can, you're going to lift the leg up a little bit. It looks like this. Out and out. So open the fingers wide and see how wide you can get those fingers. Now we're extending the leg, but we're not snapping the knee. Good job. And relax down. Could you feel that? Yes. Excellent. Okay, let's grab our bowls. We start out with just one bowl. There we go. Ah. You know, I do that finger exercise after I knit. It's very Do you important. really? Oh, so good. Good, good, good. Okay, so we have one bowl. 
and we put our spoon down in the other bowl because we're going to be kneading that. Okay? So the nice thing about a bowl is you can have your hands nice and wide so you're not holding it yet. Okay? Good. And keep the elbows in tight and we're going to bring the bowl just from one side to the other. Oh, that's great. Excellent. Good. I love that feeling. My back is getting stiff in my old age. How about yours? Well, how could your back get stiff in your old age when you're not even old age yet, huh? I'm anticipating. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, we have a very tall person in front of us, and we've made this lovely granola. So we're going to ask them if they want some. So we're going to bring the bowl up and over. Here we go. Up and over. Up and over. There you go. Good job. That's excellent. <laughs> Very nice. And remember, if you don't like what I'm doing, do what Connie's doing because she has a very creative mind as she interprets what I'm asking her to do. That's why I love her so. There we go. Good job. She's going to be cracking into my bowl in a few minutes. And then relax back down. Now you can really feel that in the shoulders. Yes, especially yes. right here. Great. Great. Good. So now we're going to stretch those shoulders out with our buttocks towards the edge of the chair and our bellies in and our chest high, ears over shoulders, shoulder over hips, we have this nice straight line. We're going to pull the belly into the back, we're going to lean back a little bit and extend the arms out. Then we're going to lean forward and the bowl is in one hand and we're going to pull it back. Great job. And then we do the other side. Remember we did this in our warm up, but now we have a bowl. Great job. Excellent. So we're leaning forward, opening up the chest. There you go. And open up the chest one more time. And open up the chest and hold it here. Now we're going to take the bowl and flip it right upside down and bring it down. Good job. Flip it upside down. So we're working the shoulders. We're getting our arms reaching up. And something that's pretty interesting is when you're holding a bowl or anything, when one hand goes up, if the other arm didn't want to go up, it'll probably go up and you'll get a nice stretch on it because sometimes we have one arm that's a little stronger than the other or a little more flexible than the other. Exactly. There you go. Speaking of our arms, let's hold our arms up and go a little side to side. Speaking of our arms, can you tell me the difference between the sensitive part in your elbow and Peter Cottontail's telephone? Peter Cottontail? Peter Cottontail has a telephone. Well, I know the sensitive place is my funny bone. Okay, you got half of it. think. Okay. Funny bone and a funny phone. That's great. That's the difference between the sensitive part in your elbow and Peter Cottontail's telephone. One's a funny bone and the other's is a bunny phone. Perfect. Let's I'm going to tell that one to my grandchildren. Yes, grandchildren love that. Perfect. And really start to turn the body. Now start to turn the head. The head and the body. Beautiful. Four and three and two. You're done. Could you feel that? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Good stretch. Now we're going to work with our spoon. So you're going to take the spoon and your thumb is up in the meat. No, you can't eat yet. The thumb Not is up. Not until she opens the granola. <laughs> thumb is up and we're going to stir all around the bowl. Now go a little faster. There you go. And stir and stir. Go all around the bowl because you there you go. Good. Now go in the other direction. Other direction. Good, good. So we're working on grip. We're working on the elbow. We're working on the shoulder. I hate to tell you this. This part of my arm is flapping. And go and go and go. I don't tell anybody. Change hands. Are you ready? Here we go. Start slow. Wow, this hand's harder. Well, it always is, unless you're left-handed, I guess. I'm not left-handed either. All right, now try to go faster. Excellent, excellent, good, 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 good. And reverse. Good, good, you're doing great. Why don't I have cookie mix in here? <laughs> okay, what's the difference? <laughs> One more, four. I use my chocolate Three, two, and done. Good job. Now the thumb is down. Feel how that feels different. Oh, it does. So our Much elbow shoulder, shoulder, right? A lot more shoulder. Thank you. And we start and we go as fast as we can. And then we go in reverse as fast as we can. And relax. 
reverse really felt different. Some that, yeah, it does. It, it's amazing when you do one thing and then change it just a little. But all the while, we're sitting nice and tall. And we start to start. We start to start. And we hold on to the ball really tightly. <laughs> And reverse and go as fast as you can. Good, good, good. And done. Whoa! <laughs> so we really worked the arms. That was great. Perfect. Just perfect. Excellent. Okay. So now we're going to scoop it up, but this wasn't a good back, so we're going to throw it over our shoulders. Scoop and throw. Scoop and throw. Scoop. You know what Connie's doing? She's looking for the chocolate chips and the chocolate chip batter. And until she gets one, she's going to fling all the batter over her shoulder. Good. Good. My grandmother's rolling over in her grave, though. <laughs> Waste not, want not. She would have been distressed at all this great cooking dough going over the fence. Well, if I were cooking with you, I'd be right behind you with my bowl catching it. <laughs> Change sides. Now you're going to take your spoon, you're going to scoop it up, and you're going to throw it over your shoulder. Scoop and throw. Scoop and throw. Scoop and throw. But you don't want to do any jerking motion or bouncing motion, so it's actually controlled. Throw it. Scoop it. Throw it. So we're working our wrist, we're working our shoulder, we're stretching out the chest. And if you lean forward a little bit, you're working a little bit of the joint of the hips and the abdominals. And the abdominals, you're right. Oh, your batter hit me in the face. Oh, that's you okay. Want, you want me to wipe it off in my That's scarf? okay, I got it. Okay, so we're done with that. How was that? That was good. All right. Harder with the left hand, though. I need to use my left arm more. That's perfect. Okay, okay. now we have two bowls. Are you ready? Okay. We're going to try to balance these bowls. Do I have bowls. to do that? Yes, you do. However you can get these bowls here. Good. That's why they're plastic, Connie. Oh, okay. good. One up, one down. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Wait till it's we a balance weight. challenge. It's a balance challenge. Gotta pay attention. Say balance challenge three times fast. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> do you know I have a singing bird? You do? I do. And it's a parrot, and it wrote an opera. Do you know the name of the opera? It's a parrot. Is it a musing opera? A musing or yeah, musical? Or tragic. Oh, it's a funny one. Oh, got it. Parrots so, of Penzance. Parrots of Penzance. You are right. You're a genius. I know. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going to bring two bowls up and out and back. And down. Good. We'll have to coordinate that. Up and out. I'm right behind you. And back. I'm right in front of you. Don't we look like a merry-go-round? <laughs> like you've got you've got the little people in your seat. I've got the people in my seat. And the merry-go-round's going around and around. I love it. I love it. Now if we lean forward, we stretch out the back. When we lean back, we work our stomachs. If you want to stay nice and tall, that's okay too. Beautiful. One more, doing your best. That's excellent. That scarf is so pretty, Connie. Thank you. Okay, hold it here. Now, bring them out. One over. Out. The other one over. Out. This is where I'm really glad it's on. <laughs> out and over. Out and over. Out and over. Out and over. And you are done. Could you feel that? Oh, yes. Good for the shoulders. And so now we have to say to our shoulders, we are really sorry for just doing that. So we want to roll our shoulders up, back, and down. Uh, yeah, that's and when better. we roll our shoulders back, our shoulders love it. Our back loves it. Great. Now we're going to get our weight. So remember, if you only want a little weight, you can use like that little bag of cereal in your cereal box or something light like granola. But we're going to go for the big time. So we're going to put a bit, uh oh. <laughs> so we're going to, aren't you glad it's not brownie mix? <laughs> My bag of beans just broke. Say that three times fast. My bag of beans just broke. Bag of beans just broke. Bag of beans just broke. Good tongue exercise. Yes. Okay, <laughs> now think of everything. <laughs> put your bags of rice, one in each one. 
There you go. So you have a bag of beans or whatever your resistance is going to be. My friend Althea said to put water in here, but you can see how Connie and I are. So we are not putting any water in here because it would end up all over the place. Okay, now we're going to work a little easier and slower. Up, down, up. So this is, we're going to feel this much more fast, much more quickly. Much you quicker. know she gave me a pound and a half each. I did, I did. I have she's to only got a pound. <laughs> do this for very long. This is so above my pay grade. <laughs> now we're going to hold it here. Now watch your hands. You're going to sweep around like this. So keeping your hands flat is really important because we're going to push one hand up. Can you do that? There you go. Good. Your hands are back. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Kind of. And up. There you go. Perfect. So we're not snapping our elbow, but it's really working the arms. And down. Beautiful. And up. Excellent, and down. So our hands are really splayed open wide and they're balancing the bowl, and in the bowl is the weight. And remember, you can always take it out. You can always add more. Great job. <laughs> okay, now this is gonna be the hardest one ever, so I don't even wanna show Connie, but I will. You're gonna bring the bowl into you and out the back of your right. Oh, I'm so glad she did that instead of me. All right. And then you know, it's easier with a small one. What do I do when I'm at this point? <laughs> okay, you reach behind you. I'm going to do it again. There you go. Oh, and she comes up with this stuff. And up, uh, because it's for your oh triceps. Oh, my goodness. Triceps. So your God. shoulders. Then once you get that, you want to square your shoulders and push up. So now you're working oh, the I back of the that. upper arm. I knew you could do that. Good. Good. Beautiful. Four. Three. Two, now slowly, slowly, bring it back around. <laughs> Let's try the other side. So we're oh, nice and tall. And this is our left hand, and this is the bag this that has the beans. <laughs> so it helps if you bring it into your ribs and then push it. <laughs> you lie awake nights thinking up these tortures. I actually did wake up in the middle of the night and thought of this one. I okay, wish so it was a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> now our shoulders are square and in line with our hips and knees and feet. Tummy and in. we're pushing up a long spine and huge smiles galloping across your face. We've got one, two. So you should feel this on the back of the upper arm. And maybe we should get smaller bowls next time. And last one, please. Now hold it here very slowly. Bend the elbow, bring it into the wow. body. And around. Whew. How was that? That was interesting. Yeah. Now you're gonna put one right on top of the other. It's double weight. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Feet in front, buttocks to the edge of the chair, leaning back. And when we come forward, we're gonna turn. Leaning back, but don't touch the back of the seat. Make that little tummy tighten up. And when we come up, using our stomachs, we lean forward. And lean forward, come back, lean back, come forward. So when we lean forward, we're pushing it off to this side. When we lean back, we're bringing it to this side. When we lean forward, we're bringing it to this side. And when we lean back, and now we're gonna change it, all right? We're gonna lean forward, pushing it to this side. Lean back, pushing it to this side. That's what we did before. Wait a minute. Okay. All right. Okay. Lean back. Back. And forward. forward. So now we lean forward and back. We see why I need Connie. You do your thing, I'll do mine. There we go. Working the back, working the tummy, working the back, working the tummy. And last one, working the back and working the tummy. Let's relax it down. Wow, that's a lot of work. And then we have the brain challenge too. One bowl. Yes, thank you. We have one bowl. And we're just going to hold it in our hand like this. And we're going to stretch right up to the sky. Bring this hand over to the opposite leg and stretch over. Great job. Now, if you take your bowl, Connie, mm -hmm. and you go like this to your ear, you'll hear the ocean. Can you hear the ocean? Reach up 
and no, all. No, it sounds more like crickets. <laughs> all the way up. Now when it's here, bring it behind you and look behind you. Use your hand to pull here. Long spine, turn and reach your ball back. Excellent. Slowly come back to center. That was great. Now this hand comes across. Ball goes in the other hand. We stretch right up to the sky. We breathe in, and as we exhale, ah, we lean to the side, pulling the top elbow back, getting a nice stretch. This feels so great. You can bend your elbow if you want, dropping your bowl. Great. Stretch all the way up, and holding on here, really pulling. Long spine, turn the head, turn the body, the shoulder, the arm, the eyes, go back. Slowly, slowly, we come back to center. Great job. And we place our hands on our bowl. We breathe in long spine. And as we exhale, we slide the bowl down to our toes. Feel that stretch? Do. Perfect. Then we take one hand, put it on one thigh, put the ball, bowl down, hand on the other thigh, and slowly come up, interlacing the fingers, pushing the palms back. Great job. All the way up, feel that nice stretch, a little to one side, back to center, a little to the other side. You did a great job today. We're very, very happy you joined us. Pull the shoulders up, back and down. Your bodies love to move and your body appreciates it too. And then you want to eat better foods. Well, some of us do. Some of us still have their minds on chocolate chips. I don't want to mention any names. <laughs> Alternate shoulders up, back and down. Then we hold our hands gently on our lap. We breathe in and lengthen the spine. Exhale and turn our heads that way. Long, beautiful spine, relaxing the shoulders down. Coming back to center, breathing in, and as you exhale, turning the head that way. Beautiful, relaxing the shoulders down. Perfect, slowly come back to center. Taking a great big breath in, gathering goodness, blessings, and miracles, and fill your heart right up. Shake all your cares and worries out. Gather newness of hope from the earth and fill your heart right up. And now you have too much goodness for one little person. So you take all that extra goodness and share it with the world. One great big breath in. And as you exhale, know that all, all will, will be well. well. Yippee! Good job. Let's have some water. Let's have some chocolate chips. <laughs> I worked hard for my treat. You worked very hard. There's your treat. Aqua. Aqua, Aqua. chippa. If I can't have chocolate chips, this is the best substitute. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.